Hello viewers, a very good afternoon. Welcome to our FB live session. And as you all know, today we are celebrating World Arthritis Day, which is to create awareness across the globe about arthritis. So today for our session, we have with us Dr. Manish Dugga sir, who is a consultant rheumatologist at Apollo Hospitals, Hyderabad. And sir is here today to answer all our doubts about arthritis. So welcome to our live session, sir. Thank you. So dear audience, if at all you have any doubts related to arthritis or joint pains, which usually people come up with and don't know that it is arthritis. So please leave them in the comment session. We will be taking them during the live session and sir will be answering them. So sir, please tell us what is World Arthritis Day. So arthritis, which means uh, pain in the joints, uh, has been celebrated since 1996 to create awareness about this disease that it is just not related or limited to arthritis but uh, other organs as well. So just because of awareness uh, this has been uh, initiated from 1996. Thank you so much sir. So what is arthritis? As you were mentioning it's joint pain. Is there any specification that uh, people can identify yes this is not a regular joint pain but this needs a doctor's attention? See, arthritis in simple terms means inflammation or swelling of the joint. Any pain in the joint which settles in a few hours or a few days can be because of injury or trauma or some other reasons. So if the joint pain settles on its own within a few days or few hours, then we don't need to worry about it much. But if it comes again and again or if the joint pain or swelling is persisting for a few weeks or months or days, then definitely a specialist opinion uh, or a doctor's opinion is uh, needed. Thank you sir and as you were mentioning joint pains, so uh, arthritis is a result of if at all anybody has met earlier with an accident or is it hereditary or there are any un other underlying causes which can lead to arthritis? So almost all that you have asked uh, can be related to arthritis. In people who suffer trauma or injury to the joint either because of fracture or ligament tear while playing or accidents, they can develop wear and tear and osteoarthritis of that particular joint when they become older. Occasionally some arthritis might be hereditary like uh, rheumatoid arthritis even though it is not 100% but there are some patients in which there is a positive family history and mother or sister or other uh, family members. Uh, the large majority of patients, the cause of arthritis is not known. Occasionally, it can be triggered by a viral infection like uh, chikungunya fever. Occasionally, it can be triggered by excessive stress or some other unknown factors which we are not aware until now. Sir, we have a question from an audience, sir. Hmm. Uh, I face knee pain, back pain. Also, hmm. every day morning when I wake up, I feel pain on my two heels. Please let me know how I should take care of this. Okay. So early morning stiffness which lasts for more than 30 minutes implies that there is inflammation or swelling in the joint or in the soft tissue structures. So if the early morning stiffness is less than 30 minutes, it could be mechanical because of uh, work pressure, because of some trauma, the joint has become weak. So initially to start with exercises. Uh, to you know lose weight and to improve the fitness of the body local hot fermentation of the painful area like the knee or the back uh, along with stretching exercises should suffice if this is a mechanical problem however if the pains do not improve then you definitely need to see the local physician first followed by a rheumatologist if needed thank you so much sir and i think many people might be in a confusion for to go to a doctor when they have a joint pain, whether to go to an orthopedician or to a rheumatologist. So please educate us about this, which is the best doctor that they need to go to and meet. Okay. Uh, as I said earlier, arthritis can be because of multiple reasons. Uh, now rheumatology as a society, as a speciality is not something which has been there for many years. So the number of rheumatologists which are available in the city or in the country are limited. So we will not be able to see all the patients who have joint pains. So there has to be some segregation. And as I said uh, earlier, 
in patients who have joint pains which is lasting for more than 4 to 6 weeks there is early morning stiffness there is swelling in the joint or some associated other symptoms like uh, long duration of fever rashes or other unusual symptoms then definitely a checkup with a rheumatologist is needed however if it is a normal aches and pains without the danger signals then an initial consultation with the local md physician or an orthopedic surgeon also would be appropriate followed by a referral to rheumatologist if needed thank you so much sir and we have a common question that is now uh, can covid cause arthritis one of our viewer is asking this so covid as we all know is a viral infection and any virus like chikungunya has the possibility of causing joint pains and arthritis now this disease covid is new we have been tackling with it only for the last 5 to 6 months however there are some patients who have developed either joint pains or joint swelling after developing covid 19 infection even though the numbers are not big but maybe 5 to 10% of patients who recover from this illness may develop arthritis so we have to be observant and careful thank you so much sir sir when we come to the causes is obesity or overweight also a reason to cause arthritis so obesity or overweight has been linked to multiple diseases including arthritis and there are two ways in which this obesity problem can impact the joints one is by the direct mechanical pressure if there is more weight in the body there will be more stress on the joints of the legs especially the hips the knees ankles the second is when there is obesity or when there is increased weight there is some subclinical inflammation metabolic syndrome and elevated levels of cytokines which can be present in the body and these can trigger the onset of arthritis in the appropriate setting for example if a patient who is overweight develops a, a viral infection with chikungunya or has lot of mental stress or some injury to the joint or some other unknown factors when they come together arthritis may develop in these susceptible individuals so there is one more common uh, myth which is around that is women after their delivery of one or two babies they start developing these knee pains and back pains will uh, is this a cause of or a start beginning of arthritis or this is due to the post uh, delivery symptoms or something like that associated with so both the answers are correct during the time of pregnancy women generally tend to put on weight roughly around 10 to 12 kilos in a normal uh, pregnancies and this will definitely impact the back and the knees because the baby is also inside the womb so after delivery if they don't do uh, you know simple exercises or don't take care and they are bending down or not looking after their knees then mechanical pain can develop in the back and knee for which weight reduction gentle exercises calcium vitamin d supplements will suffice the other thing is that during pregnancy the fetus or the child which is there inside the woman's body is a foreign object so our body tries to adapt and accept this foreign object We, the woman's body is not trying to attack this object or the child so after delivery the immune system again has to go back to its normal shape so during this time if there are triggers as i mentioned earlier some viral infections or some other unknown factors stress not eating well then some patients or some women can develop arthritis uh, postpartum especially in the first 6 to 12 months after delivery also during lactation if they don't take adequate calcium and iron A deficiency of iron and calcium can also cause fatigue body pains and tiredness thank you so much sir and so what are the symptoms that people should be looking for that they are landing up in arthritis okay the first and foremost symptom is persistent more than 4 to 6 weeks of joint pains or joint swelling and what is the joint which is involved if the joint involved is the small joints of the hands and feet wrist knees in a symmetrical or asymmetrical manner or multiple joints are involved then definitely something is going wrong also if there is early morning stiffness for more than 30 minutes 
along with this if the patient has some other symptoms like low grade fever dry cough swelling of the legs um, you know rashes or ulcers in the mouth then we have to be worried and need to see a rheumatologist so some people when they start climbing steps or well they take a ramp which is upwards so the moment they start taking the steps they tend to have pain in the knees so is this unusual because once they stop climbing the steps and all the, the pain reduces it it is like again normal so do they need to take care of their joints or ligaments yes so this is a classical case of mechanical joint pain where the cushion or the ligaments inside the joint have become weak either due to the aging process or past history of trauma or obesity in this case obviously exercises to improve the joint uh, you know function joint strength uh, calcium vitamin d supplements trying to lose weight and if needed some simple joint supplements can be advised at the initial stage by the doctor so you meant to say that such a situation need not be worried about it can be controlled without any f further treatment options sir it can be controlled if the disease or the symptoms are in the initial phases we can manage with weight controlled exercise joint supplements and things like that however if the joint is badly damaged uh, the you know the weight is too much or the symptoms are severe then obviously some further treatment and other investigations will be needed and these treatment could include tablets or injection into the joint or a simple surgery or a major surgery like knee replacement depending on the condition of the patient so uh, what are the treatment options for this arthritis so as a rheumatologist i will deal with patients who have inflammatory or uh, you know joint swelling causing arthritis so in these patients we have multiple options available which are either in the form of tablets or in the form of injections there are more than 100 different types of arthritis uh, simple ones like osteoarthritis or uric acid associated gout or complex ones like rheumatoid arthritis psoriatic arthritis ankylosing spondylitis and other diseases so depending on the diagnosis the treatment is personalized and individualized so we have a question from an audience uh, uh, she is a physiotherapist and she says she knows you uh, she says she has been referring patients of ankylosing spondylitis and lupus uh, so kindly advise what care should such patients take during this covid times okay so during this covid time the first and foremost uh, you know advice is to definitely practice uh, social distancing and uh, wear a mask and hand hygiene measures now patients with rheumatology problems like lupus and ankylosing spondylitis should not stop their treatment because of the fear of covid-19 they should only stop the treatment if the infection of covid-19 has happened and that too under the supervision of their rheumatologist as you might be aware some of you that in the treatment of covid-19 some of the medicines of arthritis are being used like hydroxychloroquine or steroids or other medicines so continuing the medications for arthritis is very important so that the lupus or ankylosing spondylitis do not flare so what are the types of arthritis and the treatment options are different or for any type of arthritis is it it is the same so as i mentioned earlier more than 100 types of arthritis are described which can be as simple as osteoarthritis where the cushion inside the joint is weak or arthritis because of crystal deposition of uric acid or inflammatory arthritis because of rheumatoid or psoriatic lupus scleroderma etc as the cause of arthritis is different the treatment is also different and personalized for simple joint pains we would advise exercise weight loss joint supplements and if it's inflammatory arthritis based on the symptoms signs investigations we will prescribe uh, medicines accordingly so how do we diagnose this arthritis most of the time when the patient comes to my clinic based on the history and clinical examination i can have a fair amount of uh, knowledge as to what type of arthritis is going on so based on that i will order some special investigations which may include blood test x rays and other test 
to arrive at a diagnosis. Uh, you know, simple blood tests like uh, a complete blood picture to look at hemoglobin, uh, ESR, CRP to look at uh, inflammation, uric acid to look at uh, you know gout problem or complex uh, you know more uh, sophisticated tests like rheumatoid factor, anti-CCP or ANA profile to look at the other diseases. So okay. a combination of uh, you know history taking, physical examination followed by investigations and then arrive at a diagnosis and give the appropriate treatment. So we have a question from an hmm. audience saying, uh, I think she is a teenager and she says her mother is having knee swelling and as well as pain. Hmm. So she says please advise what is the next steps that we need to do. See if it is a knee swelling on a single joint, uh, then uh, definitely we also need to rule out infection or uh, you know osteoarthritis or some inflammatory arthritis like rheumatoid arthritis. Occasionally even a single joint patients can present with, like, uh, with arthritis and if there is swelling definitely she needs evaluation. If other joints are also involved uh, along with the knee like the hand joints or shoulder joints or ankle joints then it is even more necessary that she sees a local rheumatologist who is available. And uh, there is one more person also complaining about the same but he says that her mother cannot get up and sit easily. There is severe pain while she gets up and sits. So any medicine that can be advised. Yeah, see due to the aging process, the joints will become weaker, the cushion will become weaker, the muscles which are there in our thighs, they will become weaker with aging as the muscle mass reduces. And thirdly, the bones also will become weaker with aging or osteoporosis. So all these three factors will limit the patient's mobility. So just by treating the joint pain or you know giving supplements may not be enough. We have to look at all the three things, the muscle, the bone and the joint. So uh, a first consultation may be with a local MD physician who can look at simple things followed by a referral to a rheumatologist if needed. So we have one more question sir hmm. from an audience. What is seronegative arthritis? Okay. So seronegative or seropositive is based on the blood test that we do. So we normally order tests like rheumatoid factor or anti-CCP in patients who have rheumatoid arthritis. If these tests rheumatoid factor anti-CCP are positive, we label the patient's diagnosis as seropositive rheumatoid arthritis. If the tests are negative, we label the patient's diagnosis as seronegative rheumatoid arthritis. Up to 30% of patients who have rheumatoid arthritis will have negative rheumatoid factor anti-CCP. 70% will be having a positive result, either one or both. One like rheumatoid factor is positive, CCP is negative or CCP is positive and rheumatoid factor is negative. Thank you sir. And sir, there might be some people even though they have this joint pains and all, hmm. they tend to take self medications. They take either some painkiller or some paracetamol based painkiller and they take preventive medicine for that time being. But if at all they neglect that for a long time, will they land up in some serious troubles? Okay. See, whenever the problem is small and we deal with it promptly and effectively, we can solve it in a fast manner. Meaning this we see in our normal life as well. If a tap is not functioning well, we repair it early, the damage is less and the cost of repair is also less. If the tap becomes totally broken, then the cost is more. So for any disease, be it joint pains, arthritis, diabetes, hypertension, early treatment and good effective treatment will definitely save us problems in the long run. As we are all aware, excessive use of painkillers can cause problems in the kidney, cause high blood pressure. So it should be avoided. If you are taking a painkiller once in six months, that's acceptable. But if you are taking painkiller every day, it's a problem. So medical help is definitely advised if the problems are persistent. So when it comes to knee pains, whether hmm. it is arthritis or osteoarthritis, Hmm. Uh, instead of taking medications, is knee replacement the final and best treatment option? Okay, so there are different stages of uh, knee osteoarthritis starting from stage 1 to stage 4. When do we recommend a surgery? When the patient has stage 4 osteoarthritis or stage 3 osteoarthritis, he or she is unable to do 
the daily activities of living like walking from one room to the other going to the bathroom you know walking up to the dining table or patient has excessive pain which is limiting his mobility so these are the factors which will tell us yes the operation is necessary in early stages there are now multiple treatment available like tablets injections and along with physiotherapy exercise calcium vitamin d the techniques for osteoarthritis knee surgery also have improved and uh, therefore surgery can be avoided if patient presents to us in the early stage thank you so much sir we have another question sir sir my father has knee pain and his uric acid level is less than 0.5% so what is the medication or treatment that he needs to undergo so generally if there is a knee pain uh, and it is associated with gout or high uric acid levels then we will prescribe medicines to reduce the uric acid uh, from what i can gather from your question the uric acids are very low uh, we have to look at the reference value of the lab as well but 0.5 uric acid is very low uh, so and that cannot happen unless the patient is taking medications for uric acid uh, so this treatment uh, definitely needs to be modified because the uric acid target level should be between 3 and 4 and uric acid is also needed in important functions of the body uh, so such low uric acid uh, should not be uh, kind of ignored uh, the medication has to be changed and as i said earlier for knee osteoarthritis starting with exercises calcium vitamin d supplements uh, you know joint supplements and other advanced treatment can be offered to the patient either by a rheumatologist or a orthopedician or even a local md physician uh, so we have one more question sir hello dr manish i am suffering from rheumatoid arthritis since 2016 hmm. after my pregnancy i have taken all standard medications including injection but nothing much relief now i have been advised to take bio medicines hmm. i need to ask you whether is it safe to use bio medicines and will it make any difference in reducing my pain okay very good question so as i said earlier post pregnancy when the immune system is going back to normal that is the time when certain ladies develop joint pain or rheumatoid arthritis we have certain simple medications or oral medications which are available to treat rheumatoid arthritis but unfortunately in up to 20 25% of patients these medications do not work or do not give us adequate joint pain control in that scenario i have also uh, you know offered to my patients uh, newer medications called biologics which are specialized injections which reduce the inflammation in the joints now these injections or treatment have been available to us since early 2000 and over the last 2 to you know 3 years uh, newer molecules have also come so in a majority of patients these injections definitely work and they provide good relief to the patient however before we start this uh, special treatment certain investigations and requisites have to be met which your local rheumatologist uh, should be able to guide you through and sir we have one more question sir sir i am 27 years old hmm. and i have pain in my wrist and finger joints ankle joints as well hmm. so please advise me yeah so if uh, the patient is a female has uh, multiple joint pains and symmetrical joint pains where both right and left side joints are involved morning stiffness is there then there is an indication that there is a element of inflammatory arthritis which is going on so these patients need to see the rheumatologist early so that we can diagnose the problem early and start treatment immediately without further delay if we start treatment early we prevent the damage which is happening to the joint once the damage happens it is permanent and we cannot repair it 100% so early diagnosis prompt treatment is very important thank you so much sir and we have one more question hello doctor what is the use of biologics i, I don't know whether this is relevant to our topic or not you should please yeah, advise yeah. as i mentioned a few minutes ago biologics are special medicines or new medicines which have been there for the last 15 uh, you know 20 odd years which we use in patients who are not able to get their arthritis controlled with the regular medicines that we are using or they are not able to tolerate the regular medicines in both these scenarios we use biologic injections uh, or biologic tablets 
obviously these medicines because they are special medicines are little bit more expensive but their effect is uh, reasonably good and uh, a lot of patients uh, improve with them thank you so much sir so when when you were mentioning earlier about the treatment options that are available mm. so we at apollo uh, what are the best treatment options that we have for arthritis as everybody knows that we have all types of special uh, specialists under one roof so please educate us about that okay so as uh, apollo is a multi specialty multi you know uh, specialty hospital the uh, the number of departments which are available are you know many uh, if you look at rheumatology uh, even rheumatology specialist in all multi specialty hospitals may not be available uh, so that way i am very lucky to be working here in apollo for this opportunity that uh, the hospital administration has provided and we have uh, you know almost all the uh, treatment options which are available uh, all throughout india which include uh, you know simple things like tablets or special injections like biologics or special uh, procedures such as uh, knee replacements or knee injections or you know other advanced uh, therapies uh, which are available now to treat uh, different kind of arthritis obviously the treatment has to be personalized and individualized based on the patient's uh, symptoms signs history and investigations so we have one more question sir hmm. from our audience uh, dear doctor i am 70 years old hmm. i have pain Uh, in my knee joints and in my calf muscles also mm. they are very much stressed please advise okay so at the age of 70 it is not unusual to have weakness of the joint especially of the knee and the calf muscles because of the aging process the joint becomes weak the bones become weak and the muscles become weak uh, so for you the first thing would be to try to do some regular exercises to improve the knee strength and calf strength try to improve the protein content in your joint Uh, you know take calcium vitamin d supplements and also get yourself checked so for osteoporosis or weak bones for vitamin d vitamin b12 levels and also an x ray to look at the damage which your joint is having uh, based on that uh, then the treatment can be personalized for your problem so we have one more question sir hello doctor i am having pain left side of my lower back that sometimes radiates to the hip it is not daily and the pain is uh, like pinching pain what could be the cause please advise uh, so the pain that you have described uh, suggests that there is a compression of the nerve either because of a disc bulge or some other problem uh, so for this probable first uh, doctor to review would be a neurologist uh, and then take it forward from there thank you so much sir and there is one more question sir few some days when the moment i get up from my bed hmm. there is severe pain and burning sensation in the heels hmm. and the entire feet sometimes and after a 3 to 4 minutes of walk it suppresses so please advise yeah so these symptoms classically fit into the diagnosis of plantar fasciitis where there is inflammation in the attachment of the tendons and the heel bone Uh, and that can be precipitated by either increase in weight because we'll be standing all throughout the day or because of trauma or even because of arthritis so uh, definitely uh, stretching exercises of the plantar fascia reduction of weight hot fermentation and a consultation with either an orthopedician or a rheumatologist uh, so that you can get an x ray and few tests done to find out the cause and then further medications can be prescribed so what is the role of diet in preventing arthritis okay so over the past few years there has been a lot of work which has gone into the diet and multiple diseases uh, based on the uh, the good bacteria that we have in our intestine so 70% of our immune system is actually in our small intestine and in our large intestine so if the person is obese obviously a diet restriction and a good healthy diet will help to reduce weight reduction in weight can cause reduction in joint pains and reduction in inflammation the other thing is if there is poor muscle mass or muscle weakness then a high protein diet will help in improving the muscle function and lastly but not the least a diet which is rich in high fiber which means more fruits more vegetables less of processed food less of uh, fried food will improve the gut bacteria if the gut bacteria improves the inflammation will improve and so the chances of getting arthritis or control of arthritis will be better along with this regular exercise is also important 
sir in our indian diet regular diet that we take you know how the ancient times hmm. if at all we are having any body pains or any pains hmm. um, there is a strict diet restriction they say don't take potatoes potatoes might increase your hmm. weight uh, pain sensation and such other vegetables so is that true sir do vegetable by taking certain vegetables do the pain increase or will uh, i don't know how to take that you 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 okay. can answer that okay so there are two answers for this question uh, in our allopathy field we generally don't recommend any restriction in diet unless there is a reason for it so obviously if the patient is a diabetic we will tell them not to you know take too much sugar or avoid sugar if it's a hypertensive we would say reduce the salt intake uh, similarly if the patient is over overweight we will say reduce fatty food if the patient has gout or uric acid problem we will tell them to avoid mutton seafood etc but as a rule i don't advise any of my patients not to eat certain kind of vegetables or take certain kind of vegetables however if there is a component of allergy where the patient takes a certain kind of food and then develops joint pains or rashes and it's a consistent phenomena every time the patient takes it the problem is happening then we need to look at allergy testing and uh, you know take it forward accordingly uh, but as a general rule i will not advise any you know food restrictions unless there is a specific reason thank you so much doctor and uh, we are done for today sir and we have taken almost all the queries and doubts that uh, many of the audience have taken part and they i hope all their doubts have been clarified and dear audience as dr manish has mentioned if the pain is persistently continuing and you are not able to bear it so please do consult either an md physician or or an orthopedician or if you can look up you can directly go and consult a rheumatologist and uh, dear audience all our apollo hospitals are covid safe hospitals all necessary precautions are being practiced with strict rules and regulations even to our staff and to the pe patients who are walking into the hospital our covid areas are separate from the main hospital as we have separate bifurcations so that you don't get in touch with any of the covid patients and all the precautions are strictly followed by all our physicians and surgeons as well to ensure your safety so please do do not neglect your health concerns do listen to your body and take immediate action as sir said early detection can be a good way to prevent and cure any problem that could be related to arthritis or any other health concerns so sir final words from you to the audience okay uh, finally i would just like to say that uh, our body which god has given us is only one time so we need to take good care of it if we don't give 15 20 minutes or at least half an hour to our body then obviously the body is going to start crying at a later date so you have to take charge of your health incorporate good diet you know healthy lifestyle some amount of exercise and if you have any medical problems be it joint pains or anything else don't ignore it seek help earlier so that you can tackle it better and finally um, you know at apollo hospital we are doing a great job in segregating patients who are coming to the hospital with covid-19 infection and without covid-19 infection so the chances that if you come to our hospital for a consultation is that you will go back home safely uh, so take charge of your life and uh, you know make some modifications so that your body is uh, healthy and uh, supports you till the end of your life thank, thank you, you so much sir and thank you to your audience stay tuned for more such educative and creating awareness Uh, Apollo stands every time in the front line in creating awareness so stay tuned for more FB live sessions thank you thank you bye